Hi guys, hope you are doing great. In this video, I want to talk about why do I love using Node.js. Node.js is an awesome tool that we can use to build a lot of things. Uh, you should use Node.js for a lot of uh, technology buildings like uh, backend APIs for web scrapping, for uh, creating chat applications, for creating backend for mobile apps and so many other things. So I have opened up this Node.js uh, website nodejs.org and in this page you can see that it is a javascript runtime built on chrome v8 javascript engine chrome v8 javascript engine is written in c++ the reason it is built upon c++ because uh, node.js needs to be used to access the file system of our computer and javascript or node.js doesn't know how to go through the file system uh, and uh, a lot of networking things c++ knows uh, so under the hood node.js uses c++ capabilities to access the file system of our computer so that makes it a lot of uh, powerful okay so you can see uh, it is uh, it has a version there are there are a lot of uh, versions being released it is a current version for latest features uh, if you want to build a big CMS enterprise level apps then you need to use this current uh, uh, node.js version with latest features otherwise you just need to download this particular version okay so I want to just let you know one important thing about node.js is its node package manager it has bunch of uh, a lot of libraries and frameworks that we can use with node.js as well as the front-end javascript technologies in order to manage our projects okay so it is like i would say it is the biggest ecosystem for open source libraries out there in the market okay so if i want to search the package uh, just like validate and uh, i have searched this one and it will show me all the validate related packages and these packages are open sourced and anybody can build it you can just go over here join the npm website you can log in and uh, you can just uh, uh, create your own npm package and upload it for the public whoever want to use it okay and you can see i just searched the validate keyword and i have come through 228 pages for just this validate keyword and it has found 4500 packages found for this validate thing validation can be anything uh, for email for form validation for searching for uh, express validation token validations and a lot of things so node.js is a one of the biggest our ecosystem and on daily basis a lot of people developers build different packages uh, using npm and upload it and anybody can use it so that's why i love node.js uh, and another thing that i love node.js is because uh, nowadays for most of the front-end technologies uh, like if you want to build a web app if you want to build a hybrid mobile app using ionic or react native uh, then uh, we use JavaScript frameworks like Angular or React. Okay, so Angular, React, or Vue.js are one of the top three most popular frameworks out there in the market that people are using for building web and mobile apps. And Node.js is used for building backend of those front end technologies like Angular, React. So uh, it it makes us a really easy and it is really feasible for us that uh, for both front end and the back end we are using the javascript okay and uh, if we are using the function or a utility library that we want to build by our own we can use the same library for front end as well as uh, for the back end in our node.js applications okay this is the react one of the uh, actually this is the mostly used uh, 
javascript library uh, in the market nowadays in 2019 uh, so uh, making things reusable writing libraries and reuse it for backend front end uh, that really helps us if we are writing our backend in java or ruby on rails that follows different syntax uh, so we needed to write same kind of library functionality for front end as well uh, if there is mismatch between the syntax of the languages okay and uh, uh, that's how uh, we can reuse the same kind of utilities for front end and back end if we're using javascript on both sides okay and uh, if i search on json you can see that this is the javascript object notation nowadays this format is being used for sharing data between server and the client systems uh, client actually write a form it calls, sends that uh, data to the server and the server return that data in the form of json okay and json uh, follows the javascript syntax that is key value pairs okay so when the data comes back from the server to the front end and if we're using the javascript framework or technology for the front end then it really makes us uh, easy and feel relaxed that we have already got uh, the uh, same formatted javascript object notation data that we require to parse uh, for using it on on our front end and node.js at the back uh, uh, really uh, make sure that this is the json data and node.js follows the javascript syntax and uh, when the javascript uh, object format and the json format becomes same it really helps us so uh, json example if i just open up json example then you will see uh, it's the connection just json objects i open up this website you can see this is the format of json it seems like it's just a javascript object it will work in javascript as well uh, the difference is we need to use the double quotes uh, in around the keys of json files but it is not required in javascript objects that we can just use the javascript functions stringify and parse to actually utilize these functionalities okay other thing I want to talk about is uh, Node.js provide a lot of uh, libraries and packages. Let's say I want to search about Express. Express, if I just uh, click on Express and it will show me how many downloads were made in last week. These are the weekly downloads. Uh, for the express it is one of the most famous framework of node for building apis from backend we can directly use node.js for building apis but that takes a lot of time express providers uh, a better and efficient way uh, to actually build apis uh, and uh, in bigger bigger applications okay so express has its own frameworks as well that i've been using that is the loopback if i just search loopback and you will see that this framework is being used a lot as well it is built upon express and it is the node uh, framework as well so uh, it provides us a user interface for managing over apis all the default apis can be provided through this uh, framework so this tutorial is not about the loopback or express i just want to let you know that uh, these frameworks are really extensible these are open source and uh, it uh, makes us easy to use node.js libraries uh, for actually uh, utilize it to make our workflow easier faster and efficient another thing i want to talk about is uh, along with the v8 engine that uh, uh, is used to build uh, the node.js uh, library uh, that is written in c++ node.js is uh, an efficient non-blocking io system that makes it efficient reliable and more faster so what is non-blocking io system if you have an idea about the synchronous and asynchronous then 
non-blocking io means that node.js follows the asynchronous syntax it means that if one process stops our waiting for data to be returned from the server other processes won't stop okay and that makes uh, the website faster for example if we have a gmail app and we have opened up an email and that particular email is taking some time to show the data but other data on the left side the tabs or the image or the thumbnail of our uh, of our username uh, it shouldn't uh, get slower just because our data that particular email is not being loaded up node.js actually follows that asynchronous uh, concept and that makes it really faster asynchronous programming is faster than the synchronous programming obviously because it doesn't stop other processes to work but there are all obviously some scenarios that we need to uh, stop processing uh, if the data is not coming that is dependent on other ui uh, thing that uh, we want to show on the user screen okay now the last thing uh, the node.js i use node.js for web scrapping and uh, if I just search web scrapping, Node.js provide us a lot of libraries just like I use request library for fetching the data using the URL. I use Gerio module. I use Pupiter module to fetch the data from the websites. So if this is a website, I want to scrap all the data from all the pages of this website or if let's say Amazon or eBay I want to fetch the data from Amazon I just run the script then I can write the script using node.js that will open up those web pages get the data and store it in Excel or CSV format and uh, that is the automated process okay so uh, now uh, uh, talking about all the benefits of using node.js now let's talk about which companies actually use node.js so netflix uh, uber linkedin trello paypal uh, ebay nasa that is the very big biggest company one of the biggest they are using node.js in their products so now you can analyze that how powerful this node.js and how flexible uh, it can be so this is the website of node.js if you want to use node.js you can just uh, uh, go to the docs just click over here and uh, you will see a lot of uh, default node.js library these are not part of npm if you install node.js these will automatically be installed along with node.js in your system you can use uh, a lot of these built-in libraries you can use a c++ add-on async hooks you can use child processes uh, i've been using this file system http uh, libraries uh, and um, I've also been using this uh, URL V8 libraries for various tasks. Okay, uh, you can just go through this documentation, start using Node.js. It will really help you to build a strong uh, backend APIs that I've been uh, using it for mostly. So I hope that uh, you have liked this video. If you have any question about using Node.js, how to use it, I have a lot of other videos on Node.js, MongoDB, uh, Loopback, Express on this particular channel. I'm going to give the link of all those videos in the description below if you want to get started using Node.js uh, in your project. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe my channel and uh, also hit the like button, share this video and comment below if you have any question.